Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. So basically, this was um, a ride share like Lyft. Okay. This is what happens when you don't want to produce your ID as a rider in Lyft. Not the Lyft driver. All you got to do is just be in the vehicle and be black. Let's go on and play the video. Sit down! Stop! 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 So go to the next one because I think the article is attached to the next one. Um, I sent two. It should be one where it has the article for it, right? Okay, let's uh, let's blow that up. Let's blow that up. All right. It says, Sheriff fires Clayton County deputy seen in pinning man during arrest and viral video. Clayton County, Georgia. Video circulated widely. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on. Georgia seems to stay in the <laughs> right. spotlight right. for whooping up on black folks. Hey, remember, that's the same place. I want to say that's the same place where the sister got pulled over. The white lady got pulled over, and, she, and he was like, uh, yeah. I'm worried. And he was like, you ain't got to worry. You ain't yeah, black. We only, shoot right. black we only kill black right. people. Right. We only kill black people. Hey, find that video while we're while, while we reading this. It says, Clayton County Sheriff Victor Hill says he has, he has fired a deputy who was seen on a video pinning a man to the ground on Friday. Video circulated widely on social media Friday night of several deputies pending, pinning a bleeding man to the concrete as upset family members scream in the background. Lawyers identified the man Saturday as Roderick Walker and said he's currently in jail on two counts of battery and two counts of obstruction. Hold on. Is that, that the police officer? That's the dude that was getting arrested. That is the dude that... I thought that was the dude that got arrested. <laughs> yeah, that's what, it, that's what right. it sounds like. Damn. Oh, man. Go ahead. Keep rolling down. Maybe it'll say it. No, no, no. Go back up. It, it, it did say that. Lawyers As upset at family members screaming in the background. I don't know. It could say it going down. Hill said the deputy was terminated for excessive use of force. He said the criminal investigation of this matter will be turned over to Clayton County District Attorney's Office. Scroll down. 
Channel 2's Audrey Washington was in Clayton County Sunday, where demonstrators gathered in front of the jail to demand Walker's release. They said the firing of one officer was not good enough. It wasn't enough because Sheriff Victor Hill could have easily also charged him criminally, supported, supporter Devin Barrington Ward said. Whoa. Lawyers, lawyers for Walker said he is a father of four and was with his girlfriend and one of his children Friday when the incident unfolded. How does he end up in jail when he was the one that was attacked? Lawyer Sheen Williams asked, the people that should be in jail are the officers that brutally attacked Mr. Walker. Lawyer said Walker and his family had just returned a rental car and had a friend take them back home. An unmarked Clayton County patrol car pulled over the driver for a broken taillight. A cousin of Walker shared the video that unfolded next on Facebook on her Facebook page Friday afternoon. William said that the deputies asked to see Walker's license, even though he was the ride share passenger and not the driver. Walker, why why he should have shown why should he have shown his ID when he wasn't driving and wasn't doing anything wrong? They became upset when he asked, "Why are you asking me for my ID?" I'm not driving, and I haven't done anything wrong, William said. The confrontation wasn't caught on camera. Pause, pause, pause. I want to, I want to, I got to bring that out. Like, we brought this out yesterday. All right. Now, we're not saying what the police did was wrong. I mean, right. Not at but all. But what we are saying, the police asked him a simple question. Can I see your ID? Go to Matthew 25. Let's get this real quick. Because this is how it always bring happens. It Jake. This always happened to Jake. Right. Listen, y'all gonna understand one way or the other. You don't have the same privilege as white people. Nope. I don't see videos. I think did we show it last week or not? Where a white man saying, "Get your hands off me! You're not gonna arrest me!" And they right. start wrestling with the police officer. Get off! Right. Get back! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Bro, you can't do that as a as, as a black man. Read that scripture. The book of. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 25. Uh-huh. Agree with thine adversary quickly. Do what? Agree with thine adversary quickly. If you knew to this truth, don't think because you're an Israelite you're going to be treated differently. Right. right. If you're in the world and you're just watching, this is, this is some of the best words ever you will ever read as far as dealing with wisdom in today's world. That's right. Read that again. Agree with thine adversary quickly, uh -huh. whilst thou art in the way right. with him. When he asks for your ID, you say, Phew. "Right, there you go, Mr. That's White Man." Quickly, <laughs> <laughs> like Mr. White Man, I'm about to go into my uh, my pocket and right. give you my ID. Don't shoot me. Hey, right. God, he should have had it out before. Right, he hey, even, hey, he even got up there. And you know what's funny? That happened two weeks ago when we was driving to uh, uh -huh. we driving to Georgia. <laughs> All right. We driving to Georgia. We switched drivers. Brother driving for 10 minutes. Get pulled on. <laughs> We're like, uh, no, what's going on? Bruh, Police pull him over. I'm like, hey, 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 everybody got your license? <laughs> hey, let's be ready to rock and roll. Right. Right. We already know the routine. Right. We know, yeah. and we like, we in Georgia. It's 12 o'clock at night. Right. Four black men. We in a Buick. <laughs> hey, hey, come on now. But no. that's that's the wisdom that y'all have. Bro. Right. The truth. Right. Now grab right. this. Sirach right. chapter 9. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Jump the gun. Jump the gun. Finish that scripture. Come on, come man. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, read that. Agreeing with thine adversary quickly, uh -huh. whilst thou art in the way with him, uh -huh. lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge. Lest he what? The adversary delivered thee to the judge. It said that this case is going to the Clayton County District Attorney Office. Read. <laughs> and the judge delivered thee to the officer. Uh huh. And thou be cast into prison. And, what? Hey. and thou be cast into prison. Yeah. All praise. All praise. All right. So, um. No, no, oh yeah. Go. It's more on that. Oh no, no, no. He finna read that scripture first. All right. Out. Let's get to nine and thirteen real quick. And Cap, you can't blame me. You was bringing it out so eloquently, I thought you was finished. <laughs> By all priests. Sirach chapter 9, verse 13. Read that. The book of Sirach chapter 9 and verse 13. Bring it uh -huh. out. Keep thee far from the man that had power to kill. So who is the man that has power to kill? That is your friendly neighborhood white man, which is Mr. Officer. Read. So shall thou not doubt the fear of death. So just like y'all were saying, we are deathly afraid we get pulled over. It don't matter for what. 
What's going on? If you're a black person, the police around. Right. I had an old saying in the world, my stomach used to hurt when the police just rolled past. <laughs> because we scared. It's, it's, that's in the curses, Rito. You and if thou come unto him. So now if y'all happen to come unto him or he comes unto you, Reed, make no fault. So, hey, give me your ID. Oh, yes, yes, master. Yes, sir. Read. Lest he take away thy life presently. That's ha that has happened countless amount right. of times right. to a lot of our people unnecessarily because we don't practice what's in the Bible. Yep. This man has the power to kill you and get away with it. Right. You must obey his instructions for your life, for your sake, for right. your family. Mm. That's what God is telling you to do. There you go. Mm. And uh, I wanted to touch on something else. Because uh, one of the sisters said, well, legally, no, somebody, I don't know if it's a sister or not. They said, legally, you don't have to show them your ID. Well, legally, you ain't a citizen. Bishop what? already brought it out. You are a denizen. You right. are not a citizen. <laughs> you don't have laws. These laws do not protect. See, that's that wisdom of the world stuff. Right. Y'all, listen, listen. Right. You don't have no rights. They say we got freedom of speech. Brothers just said Fight. today they got a radio show in Memphis. They're getting kicked off the show because they teach the Bible the way we teach it. Damn. <clears throat> you got freedom of religion and you got rights until you're an Israelite. There Understand that. Don't right. don't try to use that wisdom and that, that don't don't do that. Hey, don't do that. Hey Kat, what you what you saying is so heavy. Hey, could I read this one part in uh the Willie Lynch letter, something I read earlier today? Um, <laughs> it says, let me just get to the point. The US Supreme Court and Chief Justice like Roger B. Tenney, ensured that the law did not protect slaves, mm. but endured their white oppressors who physically, mentally, and psychologically abused them with full supremacy. Mm. No Negro, whether slave or free, could ever be considered mm. a citizen of the United States. Dang, dang. Let me read that again. You Let me read, read that again. Thanks, Let me read that again. This brother, this, brother, this brother reading it like he reading it to uh, a twin shot that night. Right. Right. A bad kind of story. What is this? Let me read this thing. A brown thing? The U.S. <laughs> Supreme Court and Chief Justices, like Roger B. Tenney, ensured that the law did not protect slaves, mm. but imbued their white impressors who physically, mentally, and psychologically abused them with full supremacy. Mm. No Negro, whether slave or free, could ever be considered a citizen of the United States. Oh. That's it. Ever. Bomb drop right there. That's it. Ever. Hey, that ever, goes. Ever. That goes to that yeah. statement earlier Ooh. this week where yeah. you had our the uh, president of the right. United States said, "You done drank the Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> you drank the Kool Aid right. of oppression." Dang. <laughs> right. That's it. Go ahead. Keep reading this uh, article. <laughs> Check, check. Yeah, check. drop down the photos. There you go. Photos of Walker released by the family Saturday show him with a black eye and in a jail jumpsuit. Lawyers said he passed out twice during the attack and he should have been given medical treatment. They continued to beat this man in his face instead of protecting and serving, which they are required to do, William said. He'll order he'll ordered a bond for Walker, but he said because he had because he has a felony probation warrant out for Fulton County for cruelty to children. Stop. Stop. It says, now he would have gotten out, but he already got an outstanding warrant. Cruelty to children. Go ahead. Possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Uh-huh. And failure to appear warrant out of Hart Hapeville, which resulted in magistrate court denying him a bond. So he's got two warrants out on him, which is why he didn't want to show his ID, right? Dang. Give me First Ezra 8 Bring it out. and 24. Yep. First Ezra 8 and 24. That goes exactly why he wanted to show the ID. He That's knew it was over with. He knew it, he was, knew it was over with. with. He's like, damn. Damn. Come on, man. <laughs> the book of First Ezra, chapter 8 and verse 24. And, what's, and whosoever shall transgress the law of God, and of the king shall be punished diligently, mm. whether it be by death or other punishment, by penalty of money or by imprisonment. Mm. Or by imprisonment. Mm, that's heavy. Bomb drop. Heavy. So when we transgress the law of God, right. it says, and of the king, that's because the, the laws of the land are set up off of the laws in the Bible. Right. That's why I call the judicial.
judicial system. Right. That you're going to be punished. That's heavy. That's heavy right now. Hey, y'all know the same one I was choking him out is uh, Skip Davis' cousin, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, that's cousin. his people, though. That's why right. they don't care. Right. They don't care in no situation. Go, go to the next video or the next article, whatever we got next. You know what? It's uh, 8.16. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just showing y'all why this stuff happens to us. This is why when somebody say we got rights and you don't have to legally do this or do that, right. yeah, you you and, and and you a um citizen and you are more and you Psych. ain't got to pay taxes, yeah, keep it moving. <laughs> keep it moving. Press play. Now listen to me. Call the person that was coming to get you. Tell them they don't need to come. All right? Yes. Okay? So go ahead and call them. I'm going to take you to jail, and I'm going to impound the car. Before that, she needs to go to No. I can't call them if you don't open the door. I will Why not, can't you? Because I will not put my... Use your phone. It's in your lap okay, right there. No, I just don't want to put my hands down. I'm really sorry. I'm just... You're just really drunk. No, no, no. I've just seen way too many videos of problems. But you're not black. Remember, we only kill black people. Yeah, we only kill black people, right? All the videos you've seen, have you seen any white people get killed? You have. I don't know what's in his heart, but I certainly know what came out of his mouth. And it's inexcusable. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what's in his heart. Uh, hey, give me that Mark 721, man. Dang, dang. He said, I don't know what's in his heart, but I know what came out of his mouth. Um, I want that, and I want out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Somebody find that scripture too. He go on to Mark seven, and then I want out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Uh, that's, uh... The book of Mark, chapter seven and verse twenty one. Bring it right? out. Because hey, these these little uh, sayings is how Esau try to trip you up, so you don't catch on to what they what they really doing. Listen, what he said is what he meant. Yeah. What he said is what he meant. Read that. From for from within, out of the heart of men. Because what you fail to understand, your heart is your mind. Right, right. So when he says, "I don't know what I don't know what's in his heart," you do know. <laughs> you know exactly what's in his mind. Read. Proceed evil thoughts. Uh huh. Adultery. Uh huh. Fornication. Uh huh. Murders. What? Murders. And for Esau, it's murder of black men, and right. that's what came out. Now read that out of the Bible. The book of Luke, chapter six, and verse forty-five. Uh huh. A good man out of good, tr out of the good treasure of his heart uh -huh. bringeth forth that which is good. Uh huh. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart uh -huh. bringeth forth that which is evil. Uh huh. For of the abundance of the heart, uh huh, his mouth speaketh. For what? Out of the abundance of his heart, his mouth speaketh. So what comes out of your mouth is what is in your mind. That's Heavy. Right. Understand that. Right. On some way, level, or shape, or form, that's what's in your mind. And but you, we know for a fact that's in his mind right. because uh, that's how Esau get down. The right. statistics show right you. Right. And like you said so eloquently, why is it always Georgia? Hey, <laughs> can, can I get one more scripture on that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Ezekiel 35 and 5. Like you said, what is really in the heart of Esau? Right. Ezekiel. Because uh, also already hit that they mind ain't right. They mind ain't right. <laughs> they mind ain't right. <laughs> they mind ain't right. <laughs> right. Go ahead. Up. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 5. Uh -huh. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred. So the word because made for this reason, they have a perpetual hatred. Meaning it's continuous, read. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel because they hate us. Right. That's why that's on his mind. Hatred against the children of Israel. Read. By the force of the sword, uh -huh. in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. So what we're seeing and what we're breaking now is the psychological mindset of the so-called white man who was called Esau in the Bible. Like power. While Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. 
The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.